confess your sins again, TJ. <laughs> Dig it. Do it now. It's my fault. I enabled it. It was just supposed to be a gag. I ran Pathfinder Rise of the Rune Lords and enabled erotic roleplay mode. I didn't actually have to do much. The players built a corrections facility into the ruins of Chopper's Isle and captured every female villain they could to correct and redeem them. They even wait, st- <laughs> wait, wait! I, I don't know where this is going. What, what do you mean by correct and redeem them? What do you think? <sighs> Why am I even asking this? I know. They even stuck Zudo Kajitsi in a maid outfit. Is he not that? That's a fella. Yeah, I'm nearly sure that's like an Asian elf <laughs> or something. Look, I don't know Foxy. about you, but look, like, I, I, what, what, what would name this? The Leap Facility? I don't know. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it sounds like. So, what is it? Government sanctioned? Yeah. Sounds like probably. it? Jesus Christ. Look, it's your fault. At least he admits it. Yeah. He, he does admit it. He, he, no, you let it happen. He enabled it. He enabled it. And what's worse? No, actually, Dan, it's far worse. <laughs> Let's keep going, will we? I let my party overthrow a kingdom and become rulers because they felt the current king was useless. They immediately became despotic, tyrannical maniacs who run the state with an iron fist. And any attempt to limit or curtail their power fantasy is met with immediate hostility. Not in person. In game, I mean. They'll sit and bicker and send peons to die against other players' peons. But as soon as I introduce an outside element, they band together and become master tacticians. It's very frustrating. I'm getting to the point, rocks fall, everyone dies. Except it's going to be a meteor strike. Honestly, this isn't a sin. This has happened every single time there's ever been a coup in human history. <laughs> ever. Yeah. Um, this, you know what this is reminding me of? This sounds like, you know, after Alexander the Great died, and then all those generals are, start bickering among themselves. And like, you know, it, yeah. Yeah, and like, Ptolemy goes ahead and he takes Egypt, and you know, one of them takes, uh, you know, like, they all take other, I can't remember the names off the top of my head, yeah. so I can't remember. It begins with an S. But, uh, like, this has happened. Many times, many over times, world and history. So, like, it's not that. Um, it's not that out of the box. Look, look, honestly, look, oh, no. Game. You know what this is? Look at China. This, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> China during the war words uh, era. Like, yes. you know, the second is an outside threat. It's like, oh, right, okay, hold on here. Yeah, we okay. We 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 want to slit each other's throats, but. We hate the foreigners more, so uh, you're not that bad, are you? You know, I, yeah, okay, look, I tried to kill you last week, but eh, maybe we could work at a deal, you know? I live in fear of my players finding out something. They all love my setting, enough that one of them wants to make a setting bible for it so they can use it too. I'm terrified that one day, one of them is going to discover that the setting was basically built around a character I used to erotic roleplay as, <laughs> and that a lot of the things they like or the way they are because it enabled my fetishes and horny urges. There are numerous things that are canonical because I like a particular roleplay and decided to make it part of the canon. It was an incredibly stupid decision to do this, but it's way too late to go back. And I just have to pray that my players never find out. Honestly, look, that one's... Look, okay, imagine this. Just don't tell them. No, (laughs) no, imagine the setting is a straight-up copy-paste from some hentai. That would be so much fucking worse. Whereas this one, honestly, no one's ever going to find this out. No. Well, if they find this post, maybe, but like... (laughs) Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe, but But just don't tell them. It's not like, you know, okay, I'm going to put all this in and then you make it up and then they start maybe writing about it or maybe they end up Googling something about it and then it's like straight up hentai, uh, hentai heaven links. It's like, oh, sweet Jesus. But obviously (laughs) you're doing something right if they really love the set and they want to add more to the set. And so just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, not bad. Don't, still a sin. Don't tell. It's, it's still, it's still sin. It's still, still, still extremely sinful. However, you are forgiven, I, f- I feel. Yeah. You're doing something good with it. I jerked off during a session once. Ugh. Now that's a sin and yes, a half. sin. Ring bell. Sin, sin, sin. We don't even need to hear the rest of this. <laughs> I used push to talk so nobody could hear it. I alt tab and browse the web when things that don't involve my character are happening. I read along when some dude was running a module. The spoilers were not as bad as finding out about the cool stuff he skipped over since he did zero prep. I'm getting the urge with another game, but I'm keeping it in check. When I feel what, what, how, how, how bad are these urges? I know. How bad are the urge? <laughs> when I feel like my players aren't being challenged enough, I introduce sudden complications and slash or move the hidden enemies around. I have a fetish for large scale fights. 10 plus enemy NPCs. Even though this shit takes forever to resolve in a tabletop role-playing game. 
what what does he mean he has a fetish for does this mean okay no he just likes whenever he has encounters he just likes big He's, kill oh fights. right okay i was worried it's not like I, one or two no i was i was just worried in case it's like you know that's a uh, that's like what would be the right word the trigger for his like yeah, <laughs> god, god. Like, sorry guys no. like all i'm saying is can you just have a wank beforehand you know what time of the day you're gonna have a game at just go before. No, I think it just means that like he has a Yeah, thing I know, I get it, I get it, I get Making it. encounters bigger. Definitely a sin though. Don't jack off during the game, guys, that's PSA. <laughs> if I play in a game with a module, I always read the thing beforehand and plan out how to solve combat encounters and see what consequences actions have. That's shit. That that, <laughs> that feels like <laughs> a whole game for yourself, man. Like fuck. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like the whole I know. It, it just kind of feels like a it pointless ende- endeavour. I know. It just feels like, why, why are you even showing up then? I sometimes cheat and pretend to have a spell ready that I normally don't. In face-to-face games, I use a die that I'm sure is unbalanced and tends to roll well. Well, I know a few people that do that online, but somehow Rule 20 <laughs> suddenly it seems to allow them to have fucking multiple nat 20s every day. I also neglect to mention when I'm upcasting a spell until it's time to roll for damage. That's bullshit. When I run games, I frequently fudge the dice to make sure the PCs get hit at least 70% of the time. I also pretend like everything is planned out and use random generators to create content. I mean, most of that's not really that big of a sin, but the first one is most of Well, it's not even a sin again. It just feels like a pointless endeavor. Yeah, it's just, most of the things in like the first little paragraph that he has, like, you're just ruining the like, game Like they're not. I'm not going to say they're like sins. They're not. It's not completely it's just dire. It just, it just feels like... You ruin it for yourself. Yeah. You know, you don't get to play like a decent game because you're constantly... People who cheat in my eyes are... They don't get to play the game because they're constantly thinking, how can I cheat this? How can I mean, I like, this? it's really not that of a hard game to min-max. If you want to, if you want to play the game at a very extreme end of the spectrum... Yeah. You can min-max and you can do it relatively well. Yeah. So it's... I would say just do that if that's what you're into. Uh, exactly. I don't know if I'd bother with that. Not a sin, just bullshit. I don't nearly have enough experience as a DM or a player to homebrew my own system, but I'm doing it anyway. Mate, that's everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that's every single. That's like that's not a sin. <laughs> that's like everyone does that. I slip. Oh, I slip anime references in the games I DM just to see if my players will notice. They will. <laughs> well, I wouldn't notice. I wouldn't. Notice. I wouldn't notice personally, Bob. But they never do because my references are too obscure. Oh, oh God, please don't. Please <laughs> I'm don't. I'm so into Japanese culture that nobody gets my references. <laughs> yeah. I don't agree with the popular sentiment that Magic the Gap... Anytime I see MTG, I always go to say Metal Gear Solid. And I don't yeah. know why. It doesn't have an S in it. I don't know why. <laughs> because Metal Gear Solid is beast and Magic the Gathering is unbeast. <laughs> I don't agree with the popular sentiment that Magic the Gathering has gone to woke and my main objections to the current state of the game are that the story is boring and it's overly reliant on nostalgia and crossover pandering. I don't play Magic the Gathering and never have. No. I have no but opinion. But from what I heard, uh, I've heard, it has Herf? not been. Herf. Herf. What have I heard? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Like, let's keep from, going. Like, man, we don't know nothing about Magic the Gathering. But from what I've heard, it has gone a bit too well. I, I'm an outsider working out. I've got no yeah. opinion on the matter. I've chopped up 40k models older than I am. For no! Conversion. Okay, oh that, that, that God, is... Oh, that's a sin. That is a sin. See old, oh, old no. models. Oh, they're beautiful. I went through my attic a while back and I found so many fucking like... See, like ones? Yeah, see like old... The old uh, Raptor models yeah. and stuff and some of the... Or- Honestly, it's so good. Why would well, you do that to them beautiful do models? That? I don't production models. They sell for so much on eBay as well. You should check out eBay, honestly. I see anything out of production. Stupid money. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. <laughs> <laughs> we got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at neckbeardia.co.uk. <laughs> Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. The first time I had one of my characters die, I was so angry that I asked to go to the bathroom after we were done with the session. And I shot in the bathroom sink just to spite the GM. <laughs> Megan, get the bell. Get the bell. Just get the fucking bell. Sin. That's a sin. I'm sin. 
Then he banned some <laughs> other guy for doing it. <laughs> because the retard went in afterwards, probably didn't wash his hands, and didn't notice anything. I, no, you do... How, how filthy, do you not notice a how, shite in the sink? How filthy of an apartment it do you need to be in? fucking one he is! <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> I had sex with a DM. Not super proud of it, but it happened. People are mad horny coming out of lockdown. The real sin is, is that she's a pre-op trans. But I did top, so it wasn't gay. <laughs> what? Whatever you're into. Whatever Next post. Keep going, Megan. Keep going. As a child, I dipped a second edition Space Marine in candle wax because it seemed like a good idea at the time. I still have him too. Why is it such a cursed image? Honestly, that's fucking. That's one of the best so melted funny. looking models I've seen. It's so funny. To be fair, I would do weird shit with my models whenever I was a child as well. Like the kids uh, don't get it. Yeah, exactly. I remember. You know, there was a big thing at the time. People would. Now, I never did it, but I know people that fucking did. It was called dipping. I'm not even joking. You'd literally just get your model and, and dip, dip it in, in the dip, paint. dip it in the paint and take it out and not even try and like brush off any of it so it, like it was dead thick it, it, it was it you know the thing is it it was actually kind of popular at the time it was actually like a thing that a lot of people did oh god i have no idea how that caught on oh, no. but um i will say one of the few one of the few 40k memes that i actually enjoy is thin your paints and this is a good example of thin your paints thin your or paint. should i say thin your wax, thin your wax. <laughs> I get tired of perfectly good characters and sacrifice all of their development by killing them off or otherwise throwing them away and moving on to the next. Hasn't happened to all of my characters, but the times where it has happened cling to my mind. I've sabotaged my own enjoyment for one reason or another, only to regret it later. I've had to cut my engagement with several campaigns because of job obligations, so it's probably for the best. What can you do with that? (laughs) <laughs> if, you got, if, you, if, if you're, you know what I mean, if you got a job. It's fucking so, adulting. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's just a shit situation. Yeah, not much can be said about that. Know. It's not a sin, it's just a fact of life. <laughs> exactly. I'm more or less stuck perma GMing for my group, despite desperately wanting to be a player for once, because the only other guy who's willing to run sessions is an absolutely terrible GM, who only does it to have an audience for his autistic self insert power fantasies. I've heard about this guy many a time. I actually, why does he I, keep showing up in like, these threads? I, I, I feel like I've met him. I don't know how many times now. I feel like everyone seems to know him on TG, but I've never actually gotten into him. Sprinkled with a healthy amount of his fetish material. Oh, God. I'm so tired, TG. TG? GG? Get the bell, Megan. Get Good the bell. You. Well, to be fair, no, what he sent isn't a sin. I, I can feel them because I do feel bad for people that are stuck DMing all the time and do want yes. to have a bit of a play. Just want to have a play a game, play, you know, like play as a character. Like I want to show up. I don't want to have to be in control of everything. Exactly. I don't want to be responsible but for that. But that's the thing. If you've been a GM for so long it, and somebody else just... takes over, can you adjust to being a player? Because as he said, if this guy then runs the session, are you going to be playing the whole time Go. Are you going to turn into that guy to be like, no, you don't do that guy. Are you going to be backseat DMing? Backseat DMing. That's the only thing. I mean, I think I would rather just, I don't know what I would rather do, but I would just, I I would be one of those guys like, yo, it's a two year into this weird fetish then, yeah? That seems like you're into that shit, aren't you? I know you You would do that, that, like. Yeah, that's what I would do personally. Yeah, but no. What you into here? I see what you're doing. I see what you're up to. Don't lie to me. (laughs) Some of my players are Zoomers who constantly use internet slang like based, <laughs> cucked, or chad. Okay, like, let me just put it Getting out here called right out, now. But I don't use cucked and I don't use chad. Like, I, I be, beast, beast. beast is a great word. I love it. I know my I'm mom gonna be, I'm, said beast the other day. Did she actually? Yes, because I, <laughs> I say it that much. <laughs> now, cu- my mother's 62 years <laughs> of age and she went, Bast. Bast. <laughs> <laughs> now, cucked, I think, got overused. It went, it, it, it went too hard, too quick, and it, yeah. bur- and it went it right, into, it burnt right into the sun, yes. and when Chad, no. Chad was never really overly used, but I just don't like it. I'm not overly false, but beast is a great word, and I beast use, is beast. Yeah, exactly. Beast <laughs> on what? <laughs> it gets me every time. So some of my players are zimmers who constantly use internet slang like beast, cock, or Chad. Which none of my other players get since they're normies, and we don't live in an Anglo country. Wait, is it just Anglo countries to say based? I thought it was an American thing, personally. Oh, I don't know. Every single time I feigned ignorance and asked them to explain to me, 
and the group the meaning of their funny meme word to embarrass them into stopping. It worked pretty well last time and they had to cringingly explain to my girlfriend what it meant that she got, metaphorically, cucked. After that, it seemed like they finally decided to tone it down. Maybe they'll finally talk like normal human beings. Okay, this okay. This well, cringed and red blue pilled. <laughs> we don't want this. We just want based and red pilled all the yeah, time. Yeah, based. I, I, honestly, red pilled as well is such an. You know, I didn't like it originally. I used it as a pure I, meme at this I, point. At the, I, I feel like red pilled is the best meme word out at the minute because I feel like it just got so fuck oh I mean it's based on that pill it just got so overused the term red pill yeah. and I was so cringe but now I, you know what it reminds I me of I can't stop saying it's like, it's like you know when you hear them cringe words people say and then suddenly you start saying them yeah and it's like I can't stop saying these words that I once despised. What is yeah. wrong with me? Yeah. Why am I like this? I know. I can't stop saying based on a pill though. I can't stop I, saying I, I go like, into it. I go into doctor's appointments, you know, pregnant and they're gonna say something to me and I have to stop myself from going based. <laughs> <laughs> like it's really like bad. it's really bad. <laughs> I have to like like you know, I have to go like concentrate on not saying it to people. <laughs> like just normally that On your phone to your accountant based. <laughs> <laughs> Tax reduction, beast. <laughs> like, I think that's where we're going to end here. You know what? Actually, I'm going to ask a question. So, what type of slang do you enjoy, or what slang do you absolutely despise? Like, what's the what's the worst of the worst, or what's the best of the best? Of course, beast is best. Everyone should know that. But yeah. you know, what internet slang do you just cringe hate, at the thought? I hate cocked and I hate lipped hard. Oh, shut up, Libtard. Shut up, Libtard. Libtard, Libtard is so overused. I do enjoy a party Ben Shapiro meme from time to time, though. So do I. I really or enjoy... Or party, um... Oh, what's his name? Kermit the Frog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he makes... He's, oh, My, yeah. Thank you, Peterson. Uh, yeah, thank you, Peterson. Like, sh- 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 pull, uh, he should pull her deck out, and that's, that's chaos, man. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, look... Like, you tell us your ones. Let us know down below. That's and where if you we're have your end own sins, let us know. Oh down yeah, below definitely. As well. Like anytime we do these, we always ask you guys for sins, and we never get fucking enough sins to actually do a video. So I want, I want to hear your guys' shit. You know what I mean? Show me so, your sins. Show me your fucking sins. <laughs> yeah. So as always, check out the links Thanks. down below to the models, models, the subclasses, the t-shirts, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. All those moments we lost in time.